The first step is to hoop your stabilizer and stitch the placement stitches for your elastic or ribbon. In my opinion, cutaway or tearaway does not matter. Like most of our in the hoop projects, the stabilizer will be sandwiched inside the project, so I just use whatever I have nearby. Next, you wanna grab your elastic or ribbon. I cut mine to about 10 inches. Fun fact, if you Google the average size of a printed book, it says, uh, Google's results says that most books are about six inches by nine inches. I like for my bookmarks to stick out at the top and the bottom. So I cut my elastic or ribbon, today I'm using fold over elastic, to about 10 inches. And then you want to place your elastic onto your hoop and you want to cover the top, whatever looking at your machine, Whichever way you have your design oriented, I have mine this way, where the top B is on the left. I'm going to place my elastic with about a quarter of an inch to cover that top placement line. And I'm going to put a little piece of tape there to hold it. And I'm going to stitch the tack down for that piece. Here you can see my piece of elastic that was taped and now it is tacked down. I used white thread for the tack down just so you could see clearly. And the next step is going to be the placement for that top half of our bookmark. Mine is a B. All right, now that's just the placement. So now you're going to take your piece of vinyl or cork or felt or whatever you're using for the top portion and you're going to cover that placement. This is a great use for those vinyl scraps that you have laying around. You can use pins to pin this down. I've been using tape recently just because I'm such a klutz and with tape there's no risk of poking myself in the finger like I do with pins all the time. So I just taped both sides of this piece of vinyl and now I'm going to stitch the B. Whatever the details are on your bookmark, that's what you're going to stitch right now on that top portion. If it's a happy face, if it's a monogram that you added yourself, if it's a panda, whatever it is, stitch that now onto this vinyl. Now that your top portion is complete, you can remove your hoop, not the project, but remove your hoop from your machine. You can see that the front of the top is all done. Now we're going to treat this just like we do most of our other in the hoop projects. We're gonna flip our hoop to the back. See all that backing of that B? We're going to take our backing fabric. I'm using chalkboard fabric from Joanne. You can use chalkboard fabric, you could use another piece of vinyl, cork, felt. I love chalkboard fabric and I use it a ton. And you want to secure that to cover the top part of your bookmark. Everything you've stitched so far except for that bottom placement. You don't need to worry about that one. You just need to cover the top portion of your bookmark. These split bookmarks with two parts behave pretty much just like felties that just happen to have a piece of um, ribbon or elastic stitched inside, but they're basically just freestanding felties that are connected together. So I've got my backing piece taped down securely. I'm going to return my hoop and we're going to stitch the next step, which should be the outline to sandwich the front and the backing together. And before we move on, I just wanted to show you the progress. This is the top part of my bookmark. And here's what the back looks like. See how it's just finished? It's just sandwiched in there. And now we're going to do the exact same thing for the bottom half. We've got our placement. So I'm going to take my elastic. I'm going to cover just the bottom, place a piece of tape, and we're going to tack that piece of tape down. I mean, piece of elastic, not piece of tape. <laughs> okay, I did use black that time. Sorry, I should have used white so you can see it. This piece of elastic is tacked down. I'm going to remove my tape. Now I'm going to stitch the placement for the bottom half of my bookmark. 
Now another thing about this part of the design that I want to point out, you're gonna have your elastic or ribbon, whatever you chose to use, kind of just around here. I'm going to clip mine to my frame using a wonder clip. Um, I use Easy Frames by Durkee. If you are using a flatbed machine with a hoop, you can tape it down, you can pin it down, you can do whatever, you can do nothing, um, just if you're concerned about it being in the way. Now I'm going to take my second kind of scrap of vinyl, gonna place it to cover those placement stitches, and I'm going to tape it down, and now I'm going to stitch the details of the bottom half of the bookmark. This is whatever may be on your project. If it's um, something that you added, for mine it's a honeycomb, if it's a happy face, if it's whatever it is, you stitch those details now. If you know the next step, you are too smart. We're going to remove our hoop. Again, not the project, just the hoop. See the front? There's the bottom half of our, I keep standing in your light. That's the bottom half of our bookmark. And here's what it looks like from the back. See? And we want to cover that with our felt, cork, um, blackboard fabric, vinyl, whatever. There's our tape. Okay, that is secured down, and we're going to replace our hoop, and we're going to run the final step on our machine, which will be to tack down, sandwich together, all of uh, the layers of your bottom portion of your bookmark. Listen for that little sound that we love, which means she is finished. I want you to remove your project from the hoop now. And you can remove that tape. You're gonna cut off the edges anyway, but if you wanna take the tape off, you can. And let's go over to our desk and I will show you some tips on cutting this project out. Alrighty, in my opinion, the single most important part of this project is not the materials you use or the steps you take, but the method you use to trim it out after the fact. Because as you can see, you have two places where your elastic or ribbon or whatever is stitched into your bookmark. And if you accidentally trim through that elastic or ribbon, guess what? Your bookmark is ruined. So here's how I ensure that I do not do that. I am right-handed, so I take my left hand and I fold um, whatever side you want to do first. I fold this um, piece of elastic and vinyl away from my project where I can see it and I use my scissors and I watch exactly what I'm doing on that portion of the bookmark. Look how I'm looking carefully at every snip to make sure that I had it in front of that elastic. See how nice it is in front of the elastic? Now I'm going to, do, going to do the same for the B. On the side where your elastic, on the front where your elastic or ribbon is exposed, I'm going to fold it down as far as I can to make sure that, that the vinyl on the front is sticking up and I'm going to trim as I like it on that part. Very carefully. And yeah, I do it this slow when I'm doing it myself because I do not want to waste this whole project. Okay, see how that looks nice right there? Now, you can trim around the rest of your project simply by pulling, well, first I'm gonna do this, watch this. That makes it a lot easier. <laughs> um, that makes it not so cumbersome. Now, I'm um, again, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna use my left hand and pull that elastic away, and I'm going to just trim. Now I can trim a little more freely and then once you get past that elastic, you can just trim around the rest of the project, no big deal. This is a very awkward angle, so I, I wouldn't usually have it this way where the elastic is kind of floating around under my scissors. Um, but, so make sure when you're trimming to move the elastic out of the way just so you don't accidentally snip through you know, any elastic hanging around. This is just a weird angle for a video. Now we're going to take our book, we're going to grab our bookmark, and whenever you find a place where you're finished reading, you can insert your bookmark. See? 
when it sticks out the top and the bottom. I hope this video demystified the process of making one of these split bookmarks. They really are super easy and they're a great addition to any happy for yourself or a loved one. You can find more split bookmark designs at designsbylittlebee.com. I will see you in the next video and I'll chat with you in the group. Bye!